Hello Capricorn! Welcome to your today's energies. First of all, I'd like to welcome back my clients and my subscribers. Much love and light and many blessings to each and every one of you. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Brand new beginning that you're going to embark on with a lot of passion, a lot of innocence, a lot of wonder, a lot of foolishness, and it's fate and destiny that has brought this to you. It is the inevitable. You can't stop the inevitable. It's going to happen whether you want it to or not. Again, it's fate and destiny that is bringing this to you. Okay? Okay, somebody was around you that was very deceitful. Okay? They weren't being completely honest with you with the Seven of Swords. Plain and simple. They were lying, cheating, manipulating you, pretending to be somebody that they weren't, trying to get away with what they were doing to you, being very sneaky, very conning, very conniving. You're going to be surrounded in creative comforts with the Nine of Pentacles going to have the finer things in life regarding this situation, okay? Because you are putting issues aside. You have harmony after the strain with the Six of Swords. This is leaving everything behind. This is transitioning. This is moving on. This is moving forward in a new direction with a clear heart, clear mind, clear soul, knowing where you want to go, where you need to be, giving you a new direction, new opportunities, transitioning, coming out of the choppy waters and the high seas and the tsunamis and coming across nice, calm and smooth. You have a lot of high standards, you have a lot of passion, you can grow, you can flourish and you're going to thrive with the Eight of Coins. For some, we are dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups loves very deeply. She wears her heart on her sleeve. She's very giving. She's very compassionate. Very loyal. Very reliable. She's very calm. When she loves, she loves wholeheartedly. Going to charge ahead very quickly and very fast with the chariot and you're going full throttle and it's going to bring you a lot of success with the two sphinxes it's going to be great self-confidence personal achievement everything is going to come into balance you're going to have the ability to accomplish anything that you want it's a new beginning it's a new opportunity it's a new venture and it's about to happen for you and it's going to bring you success, it's victory, it's merit, it's strong will. It's successful action. Because you are walking away. Abandonment. Leaving everything behind and going in a new direction. Going towards fulfillment because you're very discontent. You're, you're not happy at all. Emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. You're unfulfilled. You want more. And it's going to happen. It's going to bring success to you. Because you're going in the right direction. You have the strength card. You're going to have all the power, all the courage, all the mental clarity that you need. That's going to come in for you. You also... With this strength card, you're going to overcome many problems. You're going to see things completely differently. You have a new beginning that is coming in with the fool. Okay, it's also a new relationship. You're exploring new relationships as well. Okay, and with the strength card, it's overcoming problems. It's supporting each other. It's willing to take risks. For love, willing to be vulnerable and having a lot of compassion. This person is going to be a rock. This person is going to be your solid foundation. 
where it's going to grow and it's going to thrive. And it's going to be very successful. You're going to be willing to go out on a limb for this person because this person is going to give you everything that you want. You're going to have the Ten of Cups. This is inner happiness. This is completion. This is dreams coming true. This is fulfillment with a lot of security. All your cups are overflowing with emotional, physical, mental, spiritual fulfillment. Everything you want, need, and desire is all going to become a reality. It's a brand new person that is coming in. You have judgment, okay? Again, you're going to be making choices. And you're going to make the right choice. Your love life is going to swift into a new phase. And it's going to bring you the ultimate fulfillment. Instead of protecting what is yours, overcoming challenges and obstacles with the Seven of Wands, you're not going to have to say, stand back, leave me alone. I know where I'm going. I know which direction. You don't have to do that anymore. And I see it as a pinnacle. Okay. I see Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You also have the Four of Wands, which is the marriage card. If it's not a marriage, it's going to be a common law. If it's not common law, it's going to be an engagement. If it's not an engagement, it's going to be a very committed relationship. You have the two of wands. You want this. You're seeking a partnership. You're seeking fulfillment. And you're very determined to have it. And you know what? It's coming for you. You've left behind all this bullshit behind you. Okay? The deceit, the lying, the cheating. And you're moving forward. Now, again... Energies, okay, can be vice versa and interchangeable. And timing is fluid. Okay, guys? But it's a new beginning. Brand new beginning. A new venture. A new way of life that is coming in for you. That's going to bring great opportunities. What else do we need to know about this reading? Please and thank you. What else do we need to know for this reading? You could have been dealing with the emperor as well. Okay. And I'll put a clarifier. Who's the emperor? Please clarify. Clarify the emperor. With the empress. This was a very committed relationship. Very committed relationship. Usually it signifies a husband and wife. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Who else? Who is the Emperor? Please clarify. a pentacle, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, so Seven of Swords, clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords. If you're dealing with a sword, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So, You make the perfect couple. This new person that is coming into your life. Again, energies can be vice versa, okay, or interchangeable, okay, but we're dealing with a cup, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. <clears throat> and it's going to lead to fulfillment, to everything that you truly 
desire. It's a brand new beginning and it's going to lead to abundance. It's going to lead to complete fulfillment. It's going to lead to harmony. Dreams, desires, wants, and needs are all going to become a reality for you. What do we need to know about this energy reading for July 12th, 2019? I'm using the psychic tarot for this. Emotional loss, yes, this person broke your heart. Absolutely. But you're going to get through it. You definitely are going to come through this. You have hope. New opportunities, like the star, which is hope and faith, new beginnings. You're going to release all that negative energy around you, and you're going to replace it with positive energy, because this is hope and healing and optimism. This is your hopes and your dreams. A chance to start over, you're going to gain a wish. And your wish is this new opportunity. That is coming in. Again, it is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay? Or an Aries or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay? Because energies can be interchangeable. Okay? Or vice versa. It's a new beginning. It's a new opportunity where it's going to grow. It's going to flourish. It's going to thrive. Yes, you've gone through severe emotional loss. Absolutely. But you're going to get through it. You have the Six of Swords, which is transitioning, leaving all the bullshit, everything behind you, and moving on in a new direction, which is giving you new opportunities where you're going to have complete bliss. Complete. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like a more in-depth personal private reading, I do have a special going on. Just send me an email and I'll be happy to send you my information. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment as your comments mean the world to me. Please hit the thumbs up button so I can get out there and circulate among other people. Much love and light and many blessings to each and every one of you. I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye for now.